Hi everyone, I'm Cindy Antoinette and welcome to my channel. So for today's painting video, I will be showing you the process of this piece right here I call Callistus and Ademus in Valentine's. And the topic for today, it's going to be really interesting and unique because I will be talking about the law of attraction regarding in love. But the kind of love that we're going to talk about is going to be the spiritual universal love that of course has to do with romance as well and also self-love. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that I am a creative channel. I create painting, drawing videos because I am an artist and I also share my stories. But I just really want to expand my channel more and more and more and so from now on you can expect that my channel it's going to be my personal journey where I share with you my creativity, my painting, my stories, my project also from the lens of my own spiritual journey. I hope that you'll enjoy today's video, that you will enjoy my painting process and also find the topic insightful and helpful for you in any way. So please don't forget to like and also subscribe so that you can keep updated with what I post. So maybe some of you are aware of what Law of Attraction is about because it's actually been going around for quite a long time. I think I remember that I knew about this as young as back in elementary school. Also, a quick introduction about the painting that I'm doing. These two characters are my original characters from my personal project that I have been developing for over the past two years. From my personal project, which I call White Spirit and Dark Matter, I am writing a fantasy novel book and creating some series of illustrations. So far, I have created some concept design for the characters, a little bit of the story, the teaser, the, the chapters, and so on. So if you're interested to know more about it, then you can check it out on my Instagram or Tapastic or my website, which of the links is in the description down below. Just a little bit sneak peek of what this is about. An infinite being living inside a limiting physical body, danger awaits for many ones to use her power. When two opposite worlds finally collapse into one, can courage and love truly save them all and is it worth the fight? So right on to the topic itself, law of attraction when it comes to love. A lot of times when people want to attract the perfect soulmate, the perfect partner, the perfect relationship, we would immediately jump right ahead into visualizing, writing, or doing these affirmations to attract that certain relationship or even that certain person. Now, but the thing about law of attraction is that you gotta be careful of what you attract if you don't actually really know what you desire, if you don't actually really know your own worth and your own desire. And that's why personal growth, self-love, self-confidence is so important. And in fact, I think it's part of the key here to have a successful law of attraction when it comes Comes to love or romance because love in general it can be everything it can be something universal like the love towards your best friends towards your family towards your hobbies your passion or even your pets so if you think about love you have to really know what love means to you how do you perceive love in a relationship in friendship and how do you see that with yourself as well because remember everything starts from you everything starts from within so you have to truly be aware of your worth your desire what you deserve before you actually jump right ahead into the law of attraction especially if you have been dealing with several toxic or unhealthy imbalanced relationship from the past, you may not realize that those past attachments and energies or energy are clinging into you and it might as well be actually blocking you from creating a new relationship or attracting that perfect partner. Also be careful here with the word perfect because perfection it actually doesn't matter. If you think about the perfect soulmate or partner, then you have to actually explain it or describe it in a way that you think it would be perfect for you. Like for example, a supportive, loving partner that that's able to listen to you, that able to support you, that loves to travel with you, or maybe read books with you, or go to a nice restaurant with you. You gotta be pretty specific on this thing because if you just say, oh, I want that perfect soulmate, 
and you attract that with the energy of past attachments from your toxic unhealthy relationship that you don't even realize it's still there in your energy field that it might as well be blocking you or it's not like it's blocking you but it's kind of like muddy there that energy that's why you might as well not have a successful law of attraction one thing for certain I'm just gonna say I don't 100% agree that you have to be perfect in order for you to attract a new relationship that's perfect for you because at the end of the day everyone has flaws no one is entirely perfect 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 so what I'm saying is that if you want to have a successful law of attraction to towards love when when you want to manifest that perfect relationship or partner at least you also do your own part your own work with yourself from within but it doesn't mean that you have to be this perfect person in order for you to deserve a new love. I don't actually believe that because I actually believe everyone deserves love. So personal growth and self-love is so important. Why? Because knowing your worth, your desires are important. It's key for you to have a successful law of attraction practice. When you realize your worth, when you realize your desires, what your heart truly wants and needs, and you are completely aware of this, you will start to respect and love yourself first, which is really amazing because that energy itself will boost your manifestation energy ability to have a successful law of attraction practice. I know that it's challenging for a lot of us, especially when it comes to confidence and self-love, and I know that we all have you know, issues, flaws, insecurities, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible for you to heal it. It doesn't mean that it's impossible for you to overcome it. If you feel that you need help, then please go get help. Go talk to the people that you can really trust. Go get the support that you need. If you feel that you need to go to a therapist or a psychologist, then by all means, go ahead. There's no shame in that. So please, please, please do remember that if you need someone else to help you in this process, and even if, let's say, you finally attract and manifest this relationship of a certain person that is so supportive and loving towards you, then it's very beautiful and I think there's nothing wrong at all by asking for help, for more support, of that person to keep supporting you in this journey because I think that it can be a really wonderful thing for two people in one relationship supporting each other for their own growth because I think that's just really beautiful. So last but not least, you do need to also tap into your intuition, into your soul, what your heart is saying, your inner voice. You have to tap into divine love or universal love. Now I know that I am using some type of metaphysical or esoteric words right here, but you can understand it or interpret it in a way love that is spiritual, that is universal. You also have to realize and be aware that the base of everything is just this general spiritual universal love in itself and so when you tap into this energy by helping yourself loving yourself respecting yourself I don't know pamper yourself up this is also one of the ways for you to truly be in tune with your intuition with your soul's desire and your soul's voice for me personally, having a healthy, clean lifestyle can really help. Starting from meditation, yoga, exercises, having a clean, healthy diet, going outside, uh, go to the park, to the beach, anything. Also, do your hobbies. Seriously, anything at all that can help you to be in this energy of joy, of passion, it's so incredibly important. The key here to have any type of law of attraction to be of a success is that you have to enjoy the process and be grateful of the present moment of whatever it is that you already have in the situation of your life right now. And I know that it might sound weird that how am I supposed to attract the type of relationship I want by feeling grateful for it because it's not even there yet but that is the key you gotta trick your mind trick your brain as if it's already 
happening to you and you feel that vibration of happiness, of joy, of freedom, of contentment because that's going to boost you up into this energy that is really high level and positive so that you have a successful law of attraction. Because law of attraction, it's all about your energy, it's all about your emotion, it's all about what your heart feels. So you have to start from within as well. That's why I say that self-confidence, self-love, and personal growth is so important. It's key here to have a successful law of attraction practice. So last but not least, my other tip is to be in tap with your inner child. Now I know that maybe a lot of people don't think that it's necessary but I think it's actually really important for you to be in connect with your inner child. Your inner child knows what you truly want, your, your passion, your heart's voice. That inner child of you is very honest, it's innocent, and it's one of the like purest energy that you can tap into that can help you to be more honest with yourself, with your heart. And that will help you tremendously to attract the type of love that is healthy for you, that is loving, that is balanced for you, and that's what you can call the perfect, you know, the aka perfect relationship, perfect soulmate partner. And so being in touch with your inner child will also help you to boost your self-confidence because believe me, it's going to affect the way you feel about a relationship itself, the way you feel about love itself, and the way you feel about yourself. Because I know, remember that a lot of us struggle with so many insecurities, trauma, pain, and other issues from childhood experience. So that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please do share it with me. What do you think about this topic? How do you feel about the law of attraction? What do you also think about this? Just share it with me. If you have done any type of practice, I would love to hear your thoughts, your experiences. If you have some more tips, then please do go ahead, share it with me. I would love to hear it. Let's have a discussion in the comments down below. Don't forget to also click that bell ring notification so you will know whenever I post new stuff. You can also keep update with me on my Instagram. You can also check out my website and my shop at cindyantoinette.com. And stay creative.